good morning. Good morning. Hope everybody had a good morning. I hope everybody made some big progress on their projects. Uh, they are due tonight. Uh, if you didn't, you know, you can still select any questions and whatnot, but we do have to keep moving on. I'd like for you guys to have more time in your social media groups. If your group decides to not to start tomorrow, that's technically okay, but I want to give the groups the options of starting today. Okay? So, uh, this is your, your project coming up here. Let's just kind of talk about it a bit. Uh, so this is our first large group project. I think there's eight groups. Uh, they're split up in groups of four. There is one group of three. Uh, and besides that, the rest are in groups of four. <laughs> You're in the three. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so there's a few things to think about when we're doing a large group project. Right? The first thing is Git. So while we've been working on our labs, we've been doing uh, branches that are our name, right? And then we just keep using the same branches and pushing it, uh, to ma or pushing to master and pulling from master or, or something like that, or pulling from each other's branch, I think, right? Um, so for this, we want to norm something that's a little bit different. So in your project, there'll be different features, right? So maybe there is a a user's page or something, or like a home page, or a user post form or something, right? Now those are all different features of your application. So uh, a good norm would be to make new branches that are those features. Okay, so you make a branch call the specific feature. So example, right, if I This is that PG promise thing that we've been building, right? Uh, let me just enlarge everything. Um, uh, I'll remind you how you can make a new branch is by saying git checkout dash b, and then you can create a new branch. So. Maybe I would call this, uh, let's pretend I was doing something with a post form or something. So I would say like post form. This is what I would call this branch. You can hit enter and now I can switch to the post form branch. All right, so from there I can, if I say, uh, I think if I just write git branch, I'll, I may, uh, nope, what is it? Branch. Which branch? Oh, I misspelled branch. Okay. Oh, good. If you write git branch, you can see all of your branches, and you'll see which one you're on uh, from the asterisk or the color. I don't know if all everyone's got the same setup, but you you should be able to see which one. Uh, and you can switch branches. If I wanted to go back to master, I would be writing git checkout and then the name of my branch. So now I've switched to the master branch. Right, and of course I can go back to get checkout post form and I'm back to post form by check out my branch. Okay? Uh, so we've been doing when we've been pushing, I think we've been pushing to like the name master or something every time, right? So you can actually push your branch. You don't have to push master, you could push a different branch, so I could technically push my post form branch. Okay, uh, you can see different branches in GitHub. Um, here, let's go to a GitHub. So let's join pursuit. Like for example, we can go to our classroom repository, and there's different branches that you can see here. So, like. Because when, when they've updated the curriculum, they didn't want to like make it so 5.0's branch looks totally different than this year's or something. So like, I could go to the 5.0 branch and I can still see, like, oh, this is what it looked like for people in 5.0. This was their fundamentals. I'm all in. See, it looks a little bit different, right? Uh, a lot of the same content, except for this also has 
Does that have closures anymore? Oh, maybe those got moved. But uh, these are the different branches. And from GitHub, you can make uh, the new pull requests from one branch to the next branch. So you shouldn't just merge it to master. You should make a pull request from this branch that you've made to master. Okay, just like we've been making pull requests to master already, uh, you would just be doing that from your branch. Okay. Okay. So let's go back to talking about the project. Um, Trello, right? So when we're doing group work, we should be thinking about Trello and how we can keep ourselves organized within our group, right? Communication and organization is going to be really helpful in a group, right? No longer just working by yourself or with somebody directly. You may even be working, if you're still working it on it at night, you know, you won't be necessarily be able to contact all three people. So being organized and having a way to communicate through something like Trello it can be very helpful. So an example of like a Trello board here that is linked in the GitHub is they have a den, done category. So this is, uh, I guess you can think of this as like features that they've finished. Right? And yours doesn't have to be set up exactly like this. There's variations. Uh, this is a current sprint. So sprints are little things that need to be completed. So like maybe there's a sprint that's like create a um, fetch all users on the back end, right? Like making that query. That could be one sprint. And so you can, t so then if you have these list of sprints, you could be like, oh, okay, I, I want to use that sprint. So you can, I think there's a way to well, I probably don't have like, access to this because it's like a template, but you could grab it and move it into like an in progress and assign it as like this is my card that I'm working on. So this is a sprint that I'm going to be completing. Uh, and then when you're done, you can move it over to done, right? Uh, on hold, I guess these are things that they're waiting for to complete. Next up, they, they can post questions to each other. Um, I don't know, there's like a bunch of different things. Right, we can look at other boards that I have on Trello, uh, like some of the capstone groups from last year. Uh, let's see, maybe group six could be interesting. Um, right, so these people have some info, notes, inspiration, like milestones. I, th I, I think I would, and then here we go, they got some like to do, like what they're working on, you could like sprints, right? Uh, process, like this is in process. Maybe once I've finished a feature, I'm moving it over to, like for code review. I want someone else to make sure that everything looks good before it gets merged to master. Uh, these are things that were already merged. Uh, this was John's group. Oh, John did the auth folder. Nice, very good, John. Um, and then features that are completely completed, right? And, uh, and I think I can actually probably demonstrate on this. No one's really on here anymore. So I could take a card. So let's say we needed to complete energy consumption visualization. I can go ahead and assign myself to it somehow. Let's see. John, do you know how to do it? There. I think like I'm, I'm on this card now. So now, if you see, it looks like, I, like I'm, I'm responsible for this card. Sorry for messing up your board, John. Uh, I got added to all the boards because I was the instructor. Oh, but I didn't. I wasn't obviously doing the tasks. Uh, anyway, any questions on setting up this Trello board and how we can communicate? All right, so I cannot stress enough the importance of planning what you're going to build, and just the overall setup, the flow of the application. Um, the, a lot of the routes are already laid out for you, but just thinking of what kind of queries that entails and making, setting up sprints or to-dos for those types of things. Uh, really important, when I was in my help project, um, 
I know I've shown this kind of before, but like I really do recommend going through a lot of these types of things to like just really figure out what I want, you know? Figure out your schema. Plan it out, right? What is what is my back end gonna look like? Don't just wing it. You can figure that out as a team, right? Like what do, what do we really need? What should point to what? What's gonna be helpful? Um, most of your routes should already be listed, I think. But you could still, you know, figure it out exactly. Like this is what we want to do. Our endpoints, and those could be sprints essentially as well, like to build certain routes. Um, Wireframes, maybe you want to sketch out a little bit what each page should look like visually. It uh, doesn't have to be so precise to like exactly what it's going to look like, but it's just like the overall idea. It could be like black and white, right? Like I could, if I was making my Facebook page, right, I think it has like a profile pic here and then it would have some kind of name. Then it's got like a post box. So this is like a form of posts. And then I have like individual, anything on my wall, right? Like wall posts. I don't know, I think that's what Facebook looks like. I don't really go on very much. Does it? No, oh, okay. I think they're like, no, no, that's not Facebook. Right, but this is what my Facebook can look like. Yeah, Doug? Oh, what did I, I used uh, something called balsamic. Balsamic. Yeah, spell, I think it was spelled like balsamic with a Q, I think. Um, yeah, I, I like working with that a lot. Uh, I think you get like a free trial and then you have to find a place to steal a key online. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then you can have it forever. It's really easy to find. Like if you just Google search like the key. Um, not that like I'm promoting that. It's just like that you could do that. I, ha I, like, I never would do that. I would never do that for all my machines. Um, but yeah, so right, this is just, oh yeah, that's kind of like a Facebook page. Um, so just the more you plan, the better. Set it up on Trello so that people can see. Uh, when you're taking different sprints, please, please, please try to get, try to grab different types of sprints, right? I, we really don't want to see someone who's like, well, I only can kind of do CSS really well. And then they just do the CSS for the app. If that's you, you haven't done it right. Like, you just lost down on a big learning opportunity, right? If anything, try to do the things you're like really weak at, right? Because this is this is an opportunity to practice. You're not on the job right now, right? Your job is to learn. So if you're not learning and you're just doing what you're good at, then you're not actually doing your job, which is learning, okay? So you should be grabbing from all things. If you hate CSS, you should grab some, one of your sprints should be CSS, you know? You should try to grab all along the full stack. Right, some from the back end, routes, queries, front end, styling, uh, links. You know, like it's, it's a pretty big project. That's why I think you're giving some time. Like we're going to be working on it all day, every day during class. Right. So also come in, right, because that's you have teammates specifically counting on you. Um, so you're being held accountable that way as well. But definitely, you know, there's, a, there's enough meat in the project to do all the parts for everybody. Uh, and if you finish everything, you can keep going. You know, There's no reason that you have to build the minimal viable product. You could build more. Um, it's also, you might want to think about types of roles that people can have in the group. So maybe you have a technical lead. This person is in charge of maintaining the health of the master branch and ensure that master is always safe to pull from, right? Because once a feature's been pushed up or merged in, then you should all pull from master to get the most out of the day. And this person makes final decisions on project architecture in conversation with other team members. I mean, really, it should all be like a democracy, right? But like, it's not a bad idea to have 
you know, maybe the strongest tech lead to be have that kind of role. That doesn't mean they're the only person who reviews code and like they should still be coding. Everybody should be doing a, a bit of everything. Uh, you can think of a project manager. So this is someone who really wants to make sure everyone is responsible for how the Trello board looks. And every morning, uh, a stand-up, every, every morning people should get together in the group and figure out what they're going to be doing, what they're stuck on, what they're working on, what they might need help on, right? Sit and plan out what you're going to be doing for that day. That's, that's called the stand-up. This is part of the agile work uh, environment or whatever the word is, flow, agile workflow. So this morning stand-up. Um, so this per, so this is maybe someone in charge of some of the tech. This is in charge of the Trello board, UI, UX. So this person is responsible for the design and flow of the app. So maybe they make the final decisions on how things should actually look and how the flow, how should the user actually interact with this. UX is user experience, UI is user interface. That's just what those uh, are acronyms for. That does not mean that this is the person who should be doing all of the CSS, right? You could be sketching and communicating. Uh, and then the PR review process. So maybe someone is in charge uh, of ensuring that PRs into the master are reviewed. Right? You should not be merging your own pull requests. Uh, when you create a new feature, you should create a pull request and someone else should review that code to make sure it's not something that's going to break everything else or have tons of conflicts. And, and that it's maintainable and well written. And, you know, you can send it back and forth. Just like when you make pull requests, sometimes we're, we're able to leave comments on things. So it's like, hey, this, like, this is broken, or like, you should use map here instead of push, pushing everything in an array with a for each. That's the same, you know, like, that would be a kind of nitpicky, nit, nitpicky for like this kind of project, but it's just that you can, you can communicate on those pull requests and then someone can update it and then maybe it gets merged in. Um, Right, these are your back-end routes that we want you to create. Um, uh, ugh, I don't agree with this. Uh, deleting a single like, you should just have to delete the, you should just, it should just take in likes and a like ID. So, I don't know. You could use it like this too. But really, if you just have the ID for the like, that should be more than enough. Uh, so these these can be up up for slight interpretation if they're not if you don't particularly like the way they're they're written. Uh, get all pictures for a single album. Like I would make this slash albums slash album ID slash pictures because that's getting all the pictures for an album. You can set it up like that. Obviously, six point two did, um, but think it makes more sense to do albums slash ID slash pictures, but that's, that can be a decision you make within your group. You guys should be consistent in your style, right? Now, some of, now, if some of you are doing it one way and some of you are doing it the other way within your group, that's not, that's not good, right? We want to be aligned. We want to have a style guide for our group on what our code looks like. Just like nobody should be writing in ES5 and the rest of the group's in ES6, that, that wouldn't make any sense. Everything should be written async away, right? Like we don't need to do dot thens. Unless your group decides on that, but you should probably do async away, I'm telling you that. Um, and then you have your front end and what we're expecting there on the front end, and you should be able to click around to different pages, I believe, which is what we kind of explored yesterday with the users and pets page and the HTML. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I missed. Anything that I missed? Any questions on any of that? I know it's a lot to take in. All the directions are there, though. Uh, most important is creating features as their own branches and making pull requests from those features to the master and also keeping track of a Trello board that has like different sprints, things to work on and do, and different features, and being able to claim those and assign those. So we push from the other branch to the master? Okay, good question. 
So he's asking if you push from the other branch to the master. So you'll want to push your other branch. The whole branch. Yeah. Okay. And then on GitHub, set up a pull request to master okay. from that branch. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Okay, so I'll give you your groups. Oh, yeah, Brandon. Are you this? Yes. <laughs> what if I said no? It was like we're at the end. <laughs> what, do you have a different question if I wasn't recording it? No. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, you can watch it again. It's going to be, hi, Nober. I know you're there. Um, so, uh, uh, okay. And so, yeah, like I said, this is what we'll be doing for the rest of the day. I think this is pretty much what we're doing for the rest of the week. If, Someone might, can correct me if they see something different on Canvas. Um, if like the majority of your team still is working on your Express project, that is okay today. Starting tomorrow, this is what you should be working on. We sh you should not be working on something else during class. Uh, starting tomorrow, okay? But you shouldn't. You shouldn't be the odd one out from your team. If your team's ready to roll, let's go. Yeah. You know? uh, okay. These are. The teams. Okay. Uh, oh, I should stop recording. <laughs>